Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Scorpios and happy Monday, Scorpios. I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. I know you are because that's the intention you set. Yes, we are moving towards this first quarter moon, which is also going to look like a half moon. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And we're going to be talking about the number 25. This is a general reading. These are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. All right, Scorpios, let's do this. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Scorpios as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful, wonderful Scorpios? People love Scorpios, actually. I know every now and then I may get some comments on my channel about Scorpios. I'm like, what? What Scorpios do you know? <laughs> um, but other people really see you all as being the gurus of your group, right? Uh, because of your uncanny hunches, right? Those things that, you know, you have a hunch about something, right? And you are usually spot on, right? You all are geniuses. You are very brilliant um, spirits, right? Um, so you're frequently viewed as a people are aware of your, um, your sensuality. And a lot of people, quite frankly, fantasize about you. Yeah, yeah, they fantasize about Scorpios. <laughs> yes, look at your cards. They look really, really nice. Okay, yes, let's see what these cards have to say. So this, this half moon that we have, we're going to be experiencing tomorrow night. Today is the 19th, tomorrow is the 20th. Um, the half moon that we're going to be experiencing tomorrow night, it'll, it'll look like the moon is actually cut in half, right? But actually what it really represents is that one half is pulling inward and reflecting, and the other half is outward, which is your focus and your action and social interactions, right? So this is where you're going to be really, really taking some action. Look at this. Here we go. Eight of wands, right? We're going to put this here. We have the three of pentacles. Mm -hmm. We have the eight of pentacles. Nice. We have the two of pentacles. Very nice. We have the 10 of swords. Uh-huh. And we have the queen of cups. Queen of Cups. Yeah, so let's put this up here for just a second. So there's a lot of money cards here. The majority of the cards that I'm looking at right now for you are money cards. As a result of you walking away from things that don't serve your highest purpose. Yeah. At this at this chapter in your life, all the people that have that stabbed you in the back, that threw you under the bus, that lied on you, ran smear campaigns, all sorts of things. This is where you are switching up your focus big time. And you're deciding, listen, I'm not going back to anybody who has harmed me, who intentionally or unintentionally, right? That That's including the people who were riding the fence, the people who were lukewarm friends, right? Those people who were like, well, you know, I was just praying for you, Scorpio, you know, just hoping that, uh, you know, things will work out in your favor. Even those people are behind you, right? Um, so you're at a turning point. So this is a new chapter for you. And the, the universe is rewarding things quickly for you. So some of you all will receive, um, like I said, raises on your jobs. Because again, they see you as the guru of the group, right? So yes, they, some of you all will be receiving raises on your jobs. You've already been balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to money. But also, a lot of you all have been tapping into your entrepreneurial spirit and seeing multiple streams of income. Whether you're investing, whether you started your own business, the whole nine yards. But things are picking up quite nicely for you, Scorpio. And they're, quick, they're picking up quickly. Yes, that's right. This re this represents quick progression. So a lot of things are moving in your favor. So yes, this is the part where you're going to get through. Like I said, this is where I don't want you all to stay fixated on um, the loyalty that you gave to people who may have stabbed you in the back or who threw you under the bus or ran a smear campaign or whatever, because you're at a turning point and some things can happen for you real quickly. When I say the release of a lot of income from the universe it all depends on you. It really all depends on you. How quickly are you going to heal from betrayal and how quickly are you going to heal from all this other stuff? Here's a quick answer for you. This is how you can quickly move past all of that. It's Focus all of your attention. The moment you have a bad thought in your mind about what somebody did to you or what they said about you or who, what, when, where, and why, if it's low vibration, you immediately replace it with a high vibrational thought, like focusing on what are you grateful for, focusing on the projects that you're um, you're embarking on, focusing on all, all these wonderful things. And that's how you'll start to heal from this because the more and more you start to replace negative thoughts with positive ones, boom, all of a sudden, 
you're not even thinking about the negative people or what they did to you or the, the fence riders or that kind of thing. Let's talk about the number 25 for just a second. So 25, the vibration of the number 25 means that you're a thinker, you're an idealist, someone who is selective, someone who is analytical, someone who is scientific. It also means that you need peace and quiet and you tend to be more reserved. People look up to you because of your knowledge and your wisdom. In fact, you are really adept at observing people in situations with great care and gaining wisdom about them as a result. So 25 can also be a spiritual crusader. Also, you have a rare quality of learning from past mistakes. It's also important for you to have great respect for your partner. Otherwise, you'd rather be alone, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is, again... You know, whether it's your romantic partner, a business partner, friendships, family members, or whatever, you'd rather go it alone. Yep, this is stepping into the vibration of the number 25. And this is what I'm saying. You find out some wonderful things about yourself when you walk away from chaos, confusion, and craziness, right? So this is this is the journey that you're on. So again, this is this um, first quarter moon is really testing your commitment to what you said you wanted to do, right? You said you wanted to make more money. Yes. In the midst of all the storms, you have, you're finding out people are being exposed left and right. Like you said, you wanted to make more money. You wanted to do this. You wanted to do that. And so the universe said, okay, well, let me start shifting some things around so that you can see who you can take into the next chapter and who you can't. And for some of you all, it's nobody. It'll feel like you're by yourself and the only people that you're taking along this journey with you is your, yeah, your ancestors. Exactly. Right. All right. So let's see what else we have in these cards here before we pull that Oracle card over there. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Yes. All right. Let's see what else we have. Yeah. So we have the chariot card. You see that? Uh-huh. A lot of you all are exhibiting a great deal of willpower, and that's another thing that's getting you over there, huh? Like I said, work for you is just going to be fantastic. Like I said, perfect synergy in the workplace. Some of you all will be receiving a raise. Some of you all will be receiving other opportunities, but work should be looking real nice for you all, you know? Um, meditation has been going well. A lot of you all are beginning your solar plexus chakras align. Remember, by default, you're divine feminine. This is you tapping into your divine masculine side and taking action. Like, you know what? Okay, those people who betrayed me, I don't have to go from zero to a thousand. I don't have to snap on anybody. I'm just going to meditate. I'm going to go inward and I'm going to meditate, right? Exactly what I was talking about with this half moon, right? Part inward, part outward, right? But again, the inward part for you is I'm going to take action, right? I'm sorry, the outward part for you is I'm going to take action. And my action this time is through spiritual enlightenment and meditation. Yes. Yes. Very nice. I see a lot of you all, again, this is another money card, being a lot more conservative with your money, your energy, and your time. And I see a lot of you all um, traveling as well, right? Because now you're not going to give a whole bunch of attention. Your inner, your vibrations are higher. So now at a higher level, you have access to more things, you see? And then also I see you all sleeping better. Yes, I see you sleeping better, okay? So those people who, who actually stabbed you in the back and who left you for dead or whatever the case may be, those people are, they won't even have access to all this inner peace that you have. Yeah, all this inner peace, right? Yes, all this inner peace. I see some of you all, if you're interested, right? Because this is not a love reading. This is, a, again, a general reading. But if you're interested, I see somebody getting married, right? I see everything coming together for you just the way that you intended things to come together for you, if you're interested in getting married. But again, if you're not, this is your inner peace. Yeah, if you are, this is your inner peace with another person who has inner peace and you all come together and make harm, uh, make harmony, peace and harmony together. So again, this, these are nice. This is a nice reading for you because you've left behind all the things, you know, like you got to get rid of that last, you know, when people are doing spring cleaning, they're getting rid of the last things that they don't wear anymore, that they don't use anymore, that they don't, you know, have any use for. And they're like, okay, I'm, you know, or um just throwing away things right you're getting away all the you're getting rid of all the things that you no longer um that no longer again serve your highest purpose right yeah so um this is this is essentially what it is you're clearing your energy space which is nice which is really really nice let's see what an oracle card has to say let's see what we have with these oracle cards yes 
This is nice, Scorpio. Journal. Mm -hmm. This is a time where you want to start journaling. Like, really, really start journaling your, um, your, your progress. That's what you want to start doing. Like, really journaling your progress. Like, you know what? I've been, I've been making a lot of progress with all of this. I want to see exactly, you know, um, you got to know that abundant resides, abundant wisdom resides within you, right? And so, you know, writing a story. Some of you all will be writing a book, you know, about how you were loyal to certain things. What did you learn about yourself throughout this long journey? Um, how you were able to help, and you'll be able to help tons of Scorpios, really like tons of Scorpios get through their journey as well. But like I say, for you, things are looking better and better and better. And ever since you decided to clear the energy space, your money is looking better because the majority of your cards here are money cards. You're getting your fire back. You're taking your power back. Your emotions are intact. I mean, you just have all this inner peace and you're glowing. You are glowing. So that's why I'm saying you just got to get through this period right here. This is the storm for you. It's not going back to, and I'm talking about not, I know you're not physically going back, Scorpio, but I'm saying not going back to your thought process, the old process where the old thought process where I got to meditate on who hurt me and who wasn't loyal to me and who did X, Y, and Z to me. That's not your thought process anymore. This is what you also moved on from. It's like, you know what? That used to be the old me. I can exhibit a great deal of willpower here. I know who I am. I know exactly what I bring to this universe. Yes, I know that I am a God. I am focused. I am brave. I am loyal. I am faithful. I am ambitious. I am resourceful. I'm very passionate. I've always been a true friend. Yes, and in the past, I was so stubborn, I allowed people to stay in my energy space just because they were drawn to me because I'm very magnetic. But now I've decided to take action and walk away from things that didn't serve my highest purpose. People bringing me all their drama, their this dysfunction, all their mess. I'm not a trash receptacle, so I'm not holding that on, onto that anymore. I'm getting rid of it, right? Yes, and so this is what's happening as a result of it. Work is getting better. Your love life is getting better. Everything is just getting better. It's just up, up, up from here, Scorpio, okay? So again, this first quarter moon that we're having tomorrow night, like I said, this is telling you to just stay focused, stay the course. It's a test. It's only a test, and you will pass. That's what I have for you, Scorpios. Have a great one. Bye.